Hello everyone and welcome back to my crafting world. This is Anna. So I know I've been MIA for a quick second, but um, I put up some shelves right here in my, uh, my above my table, my workspace, because I had all this. I mean, I only had, let me see if I can um, go ahead and zoom you out a little bit and no, it's hard to see, but I didn't have very much um, space, you know, when I was crafting. And I thought, you know what? Let me put up some shelves and you know what? Let me show you this. So I put up some shelves. Here we go. I put up three shelves and all of this on this shelf, guys. All of this, including my vitamins all of that except the um the heartfelt creations uh where's my finger way back there okay so that wasn't on my table but everything was on my table everything and i still haven't finished but um i created because there are some things that i just have to have which are my scissors this is where my camera sits and that is my light that i still have not been able to position very well and there's my my cheat on my inches and whatnot. And um, there are some of the tools that I, I've always had on my table. Here's another light. And here is a little drawer system that I have all the little, a whole bunch of small stuff. And yeah, so this is my table space. That's my, my laptop, which, you know, I'm not using right now. And um, I still need to finish up on the, um, I don't know what you call that thing, but I need to finish labeling them. But anyway, yeah, so that is what I've been doing. And oh my gosh, did it take a minute. So let me put you back, okay. All right, so this is uh, one of the things that I started doing before um before the rude interruption of uh, just being sick and tired of everything on my desk i was working on um the heartfelt creations wild rose i was trying to get colors and and all that down and i still don't feel like i've gotten it down but um you know they're they're not too bad they're not too bad i i, I can certainly work with different colors um now that i kind of have an idea as to where the colors go and 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 whatnot so you know not too bad and then i also got a zutterbo 3.0 i think anyway so i have made a couple of bows with the zutterbo and look at that isn't that cute I just love that so anyway that's what I've been working on so I will move that aside just wanted to share with you and today I am going to be making a shadow box with you guys um, just because I've had the box in my stash for a while and I'm going to use this uh, Dulce collection uh, by Frank Garcia for Prima uh, so you can get this at ASC craft supplies and i'll leave you the link in the description box and a discount code so you guys could go over there and shop and get a discount at the same time so we're gonna i'm gonna use this and all i have done guys is i have uh painted my shadow box it's a small shadow box and this is um uh chalk paint and i just gave it one light coat and because i wanted it to dry quickly so this is the shadow box that I'm going to be working on and it does open this. So I wanted to make sure that it was still fitting after the painting. And as I, I think I'm going to go over it, um, the inside, just to make sure that it's not, you know, that little groove, just to make sure that it's not going to get stuck. I doubt that it's going to again, because it kind of got stuck a little bit right now, but um, I'm going to make sure that that doesn't, um, you know happen again so what i am going to do with this is i have already cut out a piece of um matte gold that's going that's why i didn't paint all of the bottom and this is going to go here at the bottom and then this is the piece that is going to go on top of it 
right here with a you know a little bit of gold going around the the frame but i think i cut a piece of foam and this is five millimeter foam that i'm going i'm i'm gonna glue to the back of this and then i'm gonna glue that down that way so let me go ahead and start gluing i think what i'm gonna do though instead of art glitter glue and i really should use art glitter glue but i think i'm gonna use some of this liquid silicone so let me start doing that guys and forgive me i'm gonna try to stay in frame now it's harder for me to see the camera so i'm going to position this where i know i have to stay within this mat so you guys can see okay so i think i'm going to go ahead and i don't know what i should put down first yeah i think i need to put down i need to stop with the start with the top layer i think i'm going to do that I'm hoping that's not going to show through. Because <sighs> I sure don't want to waste that piece. I used one sheet, guys, for this. I may use more of the sheet, but I've just used one sheet so far. I know I'm going to be out of frame, guys, but I need to, I want to make sure that this is straight. No, I'm still in frame. Okay. Every time I press down, it moves. So I'm going to let that dry for a second. Okay, I think it has dried. Now... I don't know if I should put it in and work on it from that angle. Yeah, I guess that's what I'll do. That way I know, you know, how much I can have this, uh, this stuff stick out where I can use some volume. Come on, come on, come on. You know what guys I didn't plug in my glue my hot glue gun let me do that okay so I plugged in my glue gun but I brought out a small arsenal of things that I might be able to put on here this shadow box is not gonna be super super busy so I don't think I'm gonna put like a whole bunch of stuff on there but I was playing around with the leaves and I think so these are prima flowers and they match um, the collection and i want to say they go with this collection but uh, i got this back in february in my design team kit and i am going to take these leaves that comes out of that one package and i think i'm going to 
put it this way and make this one curve a little bit or something. Yeah. So let me put some glue down on these leaves. This one that I had used on a prior project. I think I'm going to do that. And I, this is one of the flowers that I had made. I don't know if I really want to use, yes, I'm going to because I want it to be nice and I want it to actually stand out because you know it has to have a focal point so hopefully my glue gun is hot enough to hot enough to make this stick okay so my glue gun was not on but anyway so I am going to put a little piece of foam on the back of my flower Give it a little dimension. Let me see. Yeah. I am going to do that like that. See what other flowers we have. We have these. I think we can do some of these. I don't know if we should do one of these sprays or two. I'll try one. Okay guys, so I glued down my flowers and I did find this little, in my little drawer of, of th these and that's, um, I did find this little bike. I think I'm going to somehow have it stand right there at the corner. That'll be cute. But this is a simple one. So this corner I am going to leave empty because I'm going to put a picture of my grandkids in there. And um, so let me see. I'm probably I'm gonna put more stuff in there, I'm sure, but I want to see. I think I've got the wrong end on this one. Or the wrong way. Let me see. And it shouldn't make a difference, but that painting, well, there we go. That's a little bit better, I think. Yeah. Okay. So I'm thinking that's going to go right here in that corner. And I want to put a bow on the outside. 
because I'm putting something right here uh, with some vinyl and you guys don't need vinyl you can just use regular um, alphas so let me see about putting that bike in there that is so cute now does the bike go with that horse and yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put it in there just like that hopefully I don't mess this up sorry guys I have to turn it up just so I can see where I'm gonna put it so adorable okay now the picture's gonna go right there and I will probably put it um, on foam you know make a cute little frame for it and put it on foam I'm thinking it's gonna be somewhere like two by two something like that something like that yeah yeah something like that on foam so I need to leave that space empty. Now, I did prepare my, I prepared my, um, my little, that's gonna go right there, about. And I don't know what happened to my transfer tape. I couldn't find it, I was sure I had like tons of it. I have to figure out where this one's going to go. So she first became a mother in 2011. Where it's gonna go. Let me remove the backing. Okay, guys, so that was a little challenging to put on there um, straight just because I wasn't able to put it on my transfer tape. So that was a little challenging, but it got on there. And I do need the bow though. I don't know if I want the bow there or not. What do you guys think? I mean, I could always move the picture down a little bit. Once I get it and put it in there. Oh, I kind of like that. Let me glue that bow on the outside. So the bow would go about right here. Let me glue something to the center of that bow though. Oh, you know what guys, I forgot. I had cut out a little butterfly from the page and I put some triple thick on there and some little, I don't know what those are. They're little glass beads that I got in my last swap. So, hmm, I forgot about that. What if I put that bow, I mean the butterfly let me see. So I pulled out some of my little flat back gems and I thought putting some on here would look good. So I am gluing some of these down and just a little dot of glue and sparkly gem. 
and I went ahead and put the bow right here along with that little butterfly and I just noticed that one of my little tiny glass beads has fallen off and these are hard to grab with the tweezers Okay. We have a little rose in the basket. Oh yeah, that looks so cute. Look at that little rose right there on that basket. Oh, how adorable is that? And of course, the picture is going to go there. Oh, my goodness, that's cute. Let's see what it looks like all together. Oh, how adorable is that, guys? How adorable is that? Now, what I don't know if I'm going to cover this. What do you guys think? Should I cover it? Let's see what kind of trim I have. Maybe I can cover it with a thick trim that's not real, you know, that's thin but wide. Let me look. So I found this trim, guys. It's not enough to go the entire perimeter of the box, but that's okay. She only needs this much because that's what's gonna show, it's a tabletop. So I'm gonna glue this down. I'm, I'm going to use my art glitter glue because, I mean, I, I don't want it to be like bulky, so I can't use the hot glue. So let me try, let's see what I can do here. Which is the front side, I don't know if it matters on these. The same to me. Yeah. So I'm gonna put glue on the edges and then this middle part right here. Hopefully this will stick down. Oh, it's gonna look pretty. Okay, let me continue to glue this down all the way around and I'll show you what it looks like. Oh, that's gonna look pretty. Okay, so. I glued on the trim that goes around three sides and I think that looks cute. I love it because the, the background is white and you can really see that. It's very, very, it's very pretty. Anyway, so I feel like it needs something like right there. So I found this little bobbin. I think I'm going to put it right there, right there. But I'm going to make it, I'm going to turn it into like a little vase of sorts. I have all my little flowers and I have this little round um, ball. So I cut some paper and I think I'm going to use this side. And it is the the um, the trim to the paper, you know, the one that, that has the hole in it. So I am going to put this down onto this bobbin and use the bobbin 
to hold some flowers. So it's going to take a minute for that to dry. All right, guys, this is the little flower pot that I have made. And that is going to go right here. All right, so I'm gonna hot glue that down and I think it is what was missing. I may do a couple of flowers down here. I don't know what you guys think about that. But let me glue this down. What if I glue down this piece of... Nah. I was gonna ruffle it and How cute is that, guys? How cute is that? I don't know what a couple of roses would do. I think I scattered them at the bottom. Maybe some here. Oh, that looks cute. I don't know if you guys could see that. Oh, that looks cute. I think I'm gonna do that. Let me glue some flowers down. All right, guys, I glued the flowers down and how adorable is that? Oh my goodness. I also glued down a few little, um, you know, some flat back sparklies. Oh, how cute. All right, guys, I think I am done. I think I am finished. There we go, guys. Oh, how cute is that? Now all I need to do is print that tiny little picture two by two or so put a pretty background and that's just on there you know I just tacked it down just so I could you know make sure I stay away from that space right there and look at that oh my gosh guys simply love how it turned out I thought about putting a big bow right here but it's already got one here so we're gonna leave that as it is all right guys thank you so much for coming along and keeping me company for a little bit I appreciate your support and we will talk to everyone later. Let me bring you in a little bit. How cute is that? Just love it. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Have a great day.